This tutorial will show you how to make this video by editing the countdown pain action sequence that we made in the last video. So the first thing is to bring in a new source video. So I'll just drag and drop this new source video. Now I will play this pain action sequence that we made in the last video. And this looks like it works as is on this source video. Maybe I would bring in a little more detail on the black outline, but other than that, I think it looks ready to go. But we are going to edit this paint action sequence to use a different background video and make a few tweaks to the other steps as well. So the first step is to replace the countdown background video. So just as before, I will choose action, paint action sequence timeline, record contents, and then choose multiple keys and finally content and choose a new movie. I'm going to choose this Hypno movie that was made in Studio Artist using the interactive dual paint mode preset called Hypno. In the next video of this series, I'm going to show you how to make this background video using the dual paint interactive mode and streaming out to a movie. Now that recorded a new content context step. Next, I'm going to delete the old Count Time movie by highlighting its step and pressing delete. And then I'll bring the new background movie up to the top of the paint action sequence. So now it looks like this. I'm now going to edit the first vectorizer step. Notice that when you press on the red squares that it selects the step, but it also changes the mode. So if I press here, it will change to the vectorizer mode. And if I press on this auto paint step, it changes to the paint synthesizer, etc. So I'm going to bring back this vectorizer step and toggle to the vectorizer editor because I want to change the colors here. So if I choose the drawing panel, I can see that the outline color option is using the fixed color source, which is this orange square in the source area. I will change the color by clicking on the source color, which will bring up the color wheel. And now since I changed that, I'm going to save that change by option clicking on Mac or alt clicking on Windows on the red square. So now I'll just step play that back. The other thing I want to change is this white outline by changing the region outline to a darker region color. And I'll also make the outline a little wider. I'll press action again to see the results. So I like that, so I'll option click on the Mac, or if you're on Windows, you will need to alt click the step to save the changes. The last thing I want to do is change the compositing. Compositing is really powerful in Studio Artist, and I really encourage you to play around with it. So here I'm going to change the compositing to Edge 3, and that will give us this effect. And now I'll save that edited step by option clicking on the red square, or alt clicking if you're on Windows. The next step is this auto paint fill. I want to change the shape of the fill. So again, notice when I click on the red square next to the auto paint step, the mode changes to the paint synthesizer. Now I'm going to go to pass shape in the editor to change the shape of the brush nibs by choosing spiral one. So these are a little small. So what I'll do is lengthen the path a little more. I also want to change the color, which is done in the paint color source. And I will change from white only to fixed color memory too. And then I will save that by option clicking the step or alt clicking if you're using Windows. With the next step, I want to bring in more detail to the vector outline. So I will bring that up by clicking on the red square next to the vectorizer step, which will bring up the vectorizer mode again. And in the editor, in generation, I will change the pause negative threshold by giving it a larger number and then undo the last step and press action. That looks good, and I will save this step with option clicking the red square. Now I'm going to add one more step, which will be a white outline in the vectorizer. So I will choose the sketch presets in the vectorizer and, I, and choose the white outline thin preset and press action. That's good, but I want to add another sketch element. 
In Studio Artist 5.0, there are new sketch effects that reside in the compositing window in the editor for most vector presets. I'm going to choose this one called Source Edge and I'm going to change the color to white and then press Action. I like that, but I want the lines a little straighter, so I'm going to choose a Smart Edge effect. And in here, there are a lot of different effects that you can apply to the sketch effect. I'm going to choose this Poly Simplify one, which will straighten the lines out a little bit. And that looks good, except for I forgot to record it. So I will check record and press action. Next, I'm going to save the paint action preset. To do that, you can control click on Mac or right click on Windows in the paint action sequence editor and choose export paint action sequence preset and then choose the Studio Artist folder, then the Preset folder, and then the Paint Action Sequence folder, and then the Movies Collections folder, and finally I will pick the Flat Paint category, which is where the original preset is located, and I'll just rename it. You can also choose the Favorites preset folder and put it there. In your Favorites, you can have as many folders as you would like, and you can store any kind of preset there, so they're really convenient. Alternatively, you can also choose File, Export, Export Paint Action Sequence Preset. So now we have a finished paint action sequence and we just need to output it by choosing Action, Process with a Paint Action Sequence, and Source to Movie. And then just name the movie. And here's the final movie. The next short tutorial will show you how to make the background movie used in this tutorial.